We're home. You know, these videos are kind of hard to do because we don't like to have the camera out when Abby is awake. And today, um, she was awake quite a bit. And so, and yesterday afternoon, she was awake quite a bit. And I just don't like to pull the camera out. So, if she doesn't want to be done. we're gonna see how much, if I combined day two with day three today, or if this is uh, actually a day three video. We'll just play it by ear. I haven't edited those videos yet, but we are home. It is, does Chelsea know she has a pizza in? Does she have a timer? She put it in. Okay, it is one o'clock on Sunday afternoon. I am wearing day two clothes. <laughs> I need to go take a shower. Abby is in bed with ice packs, medication. Yeah. We got home just in time to take medication. So Ashley and I have been setting up her little medicine bucket yes there's a lot of medicine um we have should kind of go through it we have a whole bucket here of all of her um little what are these called syringes syringes thank you um we have new ones and then we are cleaning all of the ones that we brought home from the hospital that we've been using so i've just separated them out. We haven't been washing them with soap. We've only been rinsing them in the sink at the hospital, um, along with all our little straw attachments. So I'm just letting them soak here in the water. And then we're gonna rinse those all out and put them in the bucket. Um, Cause when you're going from, like we wanna have, you can have like up to five little syringes going at a time because she likes water and apple juice oh, and chocolate milk and now we've no, added it work, so. I know she's not connecting to the internet I'll fix her another time um what do you so we have yeah like all those liquids um we're trying yogurt we added that today but she can't really like swallow, swallow that sucking um water is easier liquids are easier um but the yogurt isn't working quite yet but when you have all those liquids it's nice to have one of them per type of liquid um, and then you add to that all of the medicine as well so just in case anyone's curious we have ibuprofen that she is on um, as well as um, her acetaminophen and then she is on oxycodone um, and then we also have two different kinds of nasal sprays that she has to do to clear her nasal cavity. Um, it actually kind of gets backed up quite often because of all the drainage. So she kind of gets bloody, dry, bloody noses. Um, and then they can get congested. And so this helps clear the passageway. Um, and then she has, um, then she has this medication that helps with like upset stomachs. Um, when you're on all this medication, it can kind of make your stomach upset. So that one is for that. Um, those are extra ones for that one. Um, when you're on the Oxy, I believe, <laughs> you need some Miralax, which someone knows all about Miralax. Yeah. Abby had it today with apple juice and did really well with it. Mm -hmm. And then she has to do a um, chlorhexidine rinse, um, I think twice a day. So she has one more today. And then this is um, just for constip constipation um, in conjunction with the Miralax. This is for if it gets really, really bad. Um, so we've got all of this um, kind of set up. I kind of made the bin so that I could put this little extra in there. She's going to wash those. Then we also have some quick release cold packs um, if we need it right away. And then we also have another set of the ice packs that you can just fill with ice. She has hers right now, and then this is an extra one in case we need it. Um, and I think that is it. Nope, these are like little body wash towelettes. These are the elastics that she is wearing. 
but we can't change it for her. Um, the doctor is going to do it on Tuesday when we go. Here's another one of those quick release ice packs. This is the face bra, the jaw bra that she is wearing right now. That's an extra one. I need to wash the one that we were wearing. And then these are hot packs, um, quick release hot packs as well. Um, she had back pain yesterday, last night, and so we put some hot packs on her back. At home now we have her actual heating pad. May not look like it, but I have showered. <laughs> I have also um, put all, all of our stuff away. We've done laundry. Um, in fact, Jason, can you move that laundry? Well. I did. Okay. Thank you. I have been working on creating a little medicine chart for Abby. Uh, with all medications she is on, just making a schedule. Um, yeah. I'm going to make, convert that to um, my phone. It's basically like um, 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 12, 3, 6, 9, 12. <laughs> um, so I'm going to set alarms on my phone with the name of the medicine um, and the dose as well as having this when I'm here um, and then all of the little packets of information that come with all those medications. I I just am, I'm kind of just in the beginning of this. I just want to make sure I have all my ducks in a row, if you will. Um, so I'm just kind of getting things put back together at home here. Um, I'm really glad we did every, I did everything <laughs> ahead of time that I did. It would be really overwhelming right now if I had to think about like Christmas on top of everything else. And I still kind of do. I still have this party coming up in a week. Um, but the thought that like yeah. my Christmas shopping is 90% done. It's like one trip to Target to get stocking stuffers for them. And the last little bit um, is nice to like have that done. So... How was it to have Abby gone? Was it weird? Knowing what she was doing? It was kind of like the same, but like also knowing what she was doing. Knowing what she was doing. Yeah, that was kind of hard for everyone. Jason was talking to a lot of the girls last night, just telling them how much she had cut and pulled apart and she's re-stitched back kid together. She's like the worst. She's like really anxious. She was like, because mm -hmm. I know how she, the pain she's in because of my leg. And yeah. she was worrying about her a lot. Yeah, she was. So, um, Kaylee has gone over to Jacob's. Kaylee and Jacob were both really anxious, and that's why Chelsea went over to their house yesterday, and they hung out there for hours while Ashley was gone at her friend's house. And, um, so, anyway, I'm gonna keep getting things put together, and then we, we have to give Abby her next round of medicine here in 10 minutes, and I'm gonna try and get her, and it's her oxy, I believe and ibuprofen and so I'm gonna get her to drink as much as we can give her well, that's a good idea there's a little bowl with our current little things we can take up and down um, so I'm gonna get her next dose ready to go here um, and try and get her to drink as much as we can um, all different kinds apple juice um, water milk I just got some carnation breakfasts in the mail. For some reason, Costco's not selling it anymore. And one box of 10 at the grocery store is the same price as a box of 40 at Costco. <laughs> so I order, I order it on Amazon now. So I might take, a, if she wants chocolate milk, I'm gonna take a packet of that, because we're out of your- Fair Life. Fair Life, I'm out of my Fair Life protein milk. Um, uh, can you move? So I might take her packet and add to it, this isn't it, but add to it the chocolate protein powder um, just to give her an extra little boost. And then I was on the Buy Nothing group on Facebook and someone has offered up their strawberry protein powder and maybe I think it's cookies and cream. <gasps> you can make some ice cream with it. Wait, Wouldn't that be good? That's where I need to go. Is, I'm guessing so. I'm going to get her. No, it's over in Klahani. Is it this, on the other side, she's over in Sammamish. It's literally 
10 minutes from you here. You want to go all the way over there? Just well, it's protein. too big. For, I mean, those packets of protein powder are like $30 a piece. So I'm going to get her medicine ready to go and go wake her up and keep her on schedule. Um, yeah. So again, we won't be filming her. I won't be showing that process with her. We're just showing the process in life here at home as we adjust and take care of her throughout our day and still try and um, have like holiday traditions. The kids have pulled out puzzles. Let me show you what I got for them. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's kind of a teaser. Okay, well, Ashley had put another set of puzzle pieces in here, but this is their advent calendar. Aside from, I'll show you the other one that Abby can't have, right? So I kind of felt bad, and Abby has loved puzzles ever since we got the Maui puzzle. And this is our Christmas puzzle. If you can't see this, right. And every day they get like kind a of, a, yeah, a section, like a hundred pieces or so. Mm -hmm. And so the first day was this little no. section. Uh, this was, was like that much. This was and then this and then was that. second, and this was And then third. that was the third day. So they've done, I don't even know if you can see it. So there's the third, three three days on their oh. calendar. Move it, move it. I want to put it back on. It's stuck. Um, so they've been working on this one since Abby has been gone. Well, but we then... just worked on it yesterday. We, I didn't know where it was. So okay. So, but I want Abby to work on this when she's feeling good enough to come down and work on it. She might come down for a little bit tomorrow. This might be her activity to come down to do. Um, but definitely by week two, she'll be wanting to come down and, and do something and then go back up and rest. So every day there's a little box and there's puzzle pieces in each box that they get to open up. So I thought that was kind of fun. But since I won't let Ashley open up day four, <laughs> she went ahead and got out the Maui puzzle that we got from Costco. And so she is working on the Maui puzzle. And then she'll probably work on, what is the other one we have? Kauai. The Kauai one, right? Yeah. All right, so that's kind of fun. You want to light that? But the lighter is on my, on. it's right here. Actually, that would be kind of nice. Let's turn on the fireplace, Ash. Oh, it's getting a little chilly in here. Um, and I'm going to light no, this I'm candle. Gonna... I know, but that one's, I don't like the smell of that yeah, one. Yeah, I just want to see what it's Okay, well, I'm going to light this one. Turn down the lights and have a little, oh, and Grandpa brought, um, sorry, I'm all over the place. This is <laughs> how my brain is working right now. Grandpa, Jason's dad, brought over some some chocolate syrup. Did he bring ice cream too? Yeah. And then he also brought her some puddings and some applesauce pow cups and ice cream. And they aren't to eat it, correct? So we're going to put that in the fridge. This way she can make some chocolate milk when we don't have the other milk or if she just wants chocolate milk, or if we get vanilla, she can add the chocolate syrup to the ice cream, make a little milkshake. Ashley also started to make me a Costco list, um, cause Jason's gonna go Today or tomorrow, tomorrow to the, no, probably tomorrow. Um, one of us needs to stay here um, and the other person gets to go to Costco. All right, took a little drive. I'm probably really, really tired have zero care for um, laziness <laughs> today or inability to help. Um, so anyway, I needed to get out of the house before I really attacked unnecessarily, but I was, anyway, I'm just really tired. It's a lot um, of physical work to help Abby and it's all, a lot of emotional, like mental load to like remember everything and remember the time schedule and now I'm going through my head of things. I just, I didn't realize how much I would have to feed her myself and how long that takes. Cause she's not always hungry. Like maybe it'll get better um, at, now that we're home and she's recovering a little bit, but um, I'm slowly pulling in. Can you see my palm tree? It makes me happy. It makes me so happy. Um, I just didn't realize that we would have to like hand feed her as much as we do. 
um, I just kind of thought, oh, she'll be able to use a straw and I can get her the drink and then she can eat it and then if she doesn't finish it, I'll put it in the fridge or freezer or whatever. We're not there yet and I don't know when we're going to get there and that's fine. I just didn't know. I just didn't know because we've never done this. So, like, she hasn't been hungry um, and I think she's still kind of filled with, like, the IV saline drip you know what I mean like I feel I feel like she's not like hungry yet so we've only given her water and um, she really liked the muscle milk that we got for her someone bought that for her I don't know one of our friends or something brought it for her um, but like she only does like 50 mls of the strawberry muscle milk and then like 50 mls of water and then she's like I'm tired you know and then she like I'm tired I'm done like she does these little hand motions that we know she's done and I'm like that can't be enough you know what I mean that can't be enough is that my neighbor I was gonna tell her we were home um so I, I hope she has an appetite now we have 45 minutes until she gets her next medication um but anyway, it's a lot. Because you have to sit and help her eat it. And if she's not fully hungry, you've only given her a little bit of liquid. And then you have to come back in a half hour. And come back in a half hour. And come back in a half hour. And do it slow. And like little bits at a time. Which is fine. That's why I've done everything I've done. To like prepare myself to being home and taking care of her. Just... It's a little bit different than I thought it was going to be for right now, which is fine. But check out what I got for Christmas music on the radio. But check out what I got. I got this strawberry tropical flavored Shakeology, um, what is it called? Protein powder, I guess. Um, incredible. I got that from our Buy Nothing group on Facebook and then Oreo. I think it's chocolate Oreo. Cookies and cream flavored with natural flavors excellent source of protein and fiber omega-3 helps energy healthy energy and digestion i'm gonna have some of these after abby does um she's gonna use what she wants um but i got those free i mean these are like 30 dollars bags of powder and i got them for free got two of them so i drove i don't know a little bit of ways to go and get those and to kind of clear my head and get out and look at the Christmas lights. <laughs> I didn't even want to pull the camera out and show you all the Christmas lights, which it was fun to look at. I just didn't, I just needed to drive and think and listen to Christmas music. Um, so I think we're going to end here with you guys. Cause I know in 45 minutes, I've got to have her medicine ready. Also, when we move her into my bed tonight, I'm going to get her doses of medication lined up for the middle of the night feedings so that I don't have to wake up and actually get the dose ready. I can just give it to her. Um, Cause again, we have to syringe feed her the dose and then give her water and then wipe her lips and then help her put chapstick on and then help her go to the bathroom. And it can take up to an hour to do that whole process. Um, sometimes it's shorter, but <sighs> I'm gearing myself up for a long night and I'm trying to like not to get too overwhelmed with it. Um, so wish us luck. I'm going to end with you guys because I just need to put all my effort into helping her and not worry about picking up the camera. I'm going to be honest. I don't know when I'm going to pick it up again. Jason um, is home tomorrow. We can't go out together. We need to have one of us home because Chelsea and Ashley will be at school. Kaylee will be home, but she works. I think she works tomorrow. Um, nope, she doesn't work tomorrow. But then the rest of the week, the kids are at school. Jason's at work. And um, I don't want to put all this on Kaylee, but I might have her stay home for little bits of time to help give me a break to let me run out and run an errands or even just to leave the house for an hour and have her be there for Kaylee. Um, so I don't know when I'm going to take you guys along or pick you guys back up is what I'm trying to get at. She has her post-op appointment in two days. Um, it's a little bit early because the surgeon either was busy or he was going out of town or something. 
um, at the seven day time frame. So we're going doing it a little bit early, which is fine. Um, so I'll let you know how that goes, whether I take you along with that with us or not, or I let you know, like after the fact, I will let you know how she's doing. But it might be a little overwhelming to pick up the camera because this is all I'm likely be doing. So take care. Thanks for following along in this little journey for Abby. Um, I'm starting to see messages roll in for your cards starting to show up at the post office. So, so thank you. I'm going to pick up some of those tomorrow. I will show, share the ones that we do receive and know that you guys are thinking of us if you haven't sent them. Um, and I'll be giving Abby those cards. She is lucid enough to like read and be on our phone and things like that. So I've told her like we have a package coming. We have cards coming for you. We have this gift that was just dropped off and she's very appreciative of it. And I don't want you guys to like think that she's not just because she won't get on camera to um, show her reaction. She is very sensitive about her face, even though she has zero swelling. You guys, it is absolutely incredible. Her lip is huge. Her bottom lip is huge. Um, but it's a qu like half the size that it was yesterday and the day before. But that's it. She doesn't have swelling. Um, but she's still very sensitive um, to be on camera to begin with, let alone just having full facial reconstructive surgery. So she's not going to be on to show any reaction when normally she would be on for like a family unboxing of the package. And I hope you guys understand that. And I think you do. Um, but just know that like I will share her reaction in, you know, from myself and, um, that she's going to be appreciative of it. She already is like, and she hasn't even received stuff yet. So thank you very much for joining us. And Maybe now this video is extra long because I'm kind of jabbering more than I am showing you. Um, but it's a little overwhelming. And I think you guys will understand. So we'll see you guys next time.